sets. This is indeed Mr. Fresh back on Emo Swap Productions yes. in a, a year? Over a year? Dude, it's, yes, it has been. I just, I, oh my gosh, dude. I think it was last summer that I that I jetted and I was like, can't, I'm we, we sorry. Both, we both jetted for the, Yeah, yeah, man. Oh my gosh. Time, time doesn't slow down. It went by fast. But anyways, yeah. uh, this is the Fanboy Podcast. I am yes. one of your hosts, the Emo Sewa One Bronco. Yeah, lovely name. And I am the second of your host, a Manny Fresh. You, that's that's my name. Oh, uh, no no tagline? I was waiting for a tagline. It'll come. It'll, it, there has to be one for this podcast. I, I can't reuse. So uh, uh, I definitely, yeah. Well, uh, this is episode zero. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the live stream yesterday. We're, we're recording this, so we'll know how it went. But um, thanks for 500 subscribers and all Ooh. that fun stuff. Beautiful. This podcast is – what's this podcast about, Manny? What, what's this podcast going to be? Gonna well, be stuff. Let's, let's, just, let's just cut right to it. If you love Marvel, if you love DC, if, if you love superheroes, well, I got to tell you, get out of your locker because you're probably shoved in a locker or a trash can right now. At least, at least in the past, you were. Now it's accepted – this is the podcast for you. This is the podcast that is going to tickle your ears with reviews left and right of, of, of every every film. Like we're we're talking about pre MCU. We're talking about we're talking about when when Ben Affleck was a thing in there. You know, you, you only know him as the Dark Knight. Ben Affleck was Daredevil at one point. So we're we're going to cut into this. We're going to get into it. A bunch of bunch of you know. I'm just excited. I'm excited to go back through each and every single one of these films and review it as, you know, an old man now that things make more sense to me and I have back problems. Uh, I think I can uh, <laughs> enjoy these films a lot more and understand uh, every bit of innuendo that I didn't catch as a kid. So and uh, some, of these, some of these films will be my first time watching because I was never really big into Marvel. Um, that I was always a Captain fun. America guy or a Superman guy, and that was pretty much it. And I rock with both. I rock with both Captain America and Superman. Um, there was a point where I used to argue uh, Iron Man and Batman, but I love Batman just as much now, so uh, uh, I no longer have that argument. Um, I think the season is going to be mainly consist of Marvel movies. Do you want to give them the, the 10 episodes that we're going to review? Um, the list is on my phone, but I'm using the phone to record. Oh, so no, I no, can't. I meant, like, do you want to oh, okay. give them? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's 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 just break down the the ten episode list and the movies that we're going to be uh, reviewing. This is uh, episode zero. Episode one will officially drop. I forgot the date. Uh, July. It's every other week, so July tenth, and then twenty fourth, and then so on every other week. Uh, episode new. one, we'll be reviewing Blade. Mm, Wesley Snipes. 1998, was it? I believe it was 98. Yeah. And then after yeah. that, episode two will consist of X-Men. Mm, I can already hear the theme song. It's, it's my ringtone. I've seen both of those movies. I don't remember X-Men very much, though. X, X-Men, um, yes. Hugh Jackman is, is a sweetheart. <laughs> episode three is going to be Blade 2, another movie I saw. <laughs> Blade 2. I think I've seen all, most Bring of these it. movies that we're reviewing. Uh, episode... Four is gonna be the original Spider Man with Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire, who, Sam Raimi is Spider Man. I love say, Sam Raimi. I have such a love for him now. So, oh yeah, Sam Raimi is a good director. Um, yes. Some would say Tobey Maguire is the best. Some would say he isn't as Spider Man. Some would say. Some. Would some. Say. Episode five will be <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Daredevil, which I've never seen. Woo! The CGI in that one, Papa. You, it's, it's gonna blow your mind. We've come Episode a long way. Episode 6 is going to be uh, X2, X-Men 2. Oh, yes. That's X-Men United, right? X2 was United. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Well, yeah. I think X3 is the last stand. Um, Episode 7 is going to be the Incredible Hulk. Oh, uh, so this is the Eric Bana Ang Lee Hulk, right? Um, this what? This this is the Eric Bana Ang Lee Hulk. This isn't the Edward Norton. This is pre-MCU Hulk, no. right? Yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the Angley directed uh Eric Bana, yeah. 
Hulk. Yeah, these are uh, the Marvel movies listed from like the beginning. Yeah, the yeah, movie. yeah. And so beautiful. On, um, episode eight's The Punisher. Another one I haven't seen. Thomas Jane, baby. Thomas episode Jane. Nine, uh, Spider Man Two. We will get Alfred Molina, Doctor Otto Octavius. I'm excited for that, that one. From yeah, nine. it's said that Spider Man Two is by far one of the best Spider Man films. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now, and it's that's that is a, a, a it's just the the consensus or the census of a lot of fans. They consider that one of the best uh, Spider Man films. So. And episode ten, we begin with Blade, and we're gonna end the season with Blade. Oh, Blade 3. That one has Jessica Bill and Ryan no, Reynolds. Blade 2. Wait, wait, wait. Blade 2 is the last one? I thought we said Blade 2. Wait, yeah, we said Blade 2. My bad. Blade, yeah. So Blade right. 3. Yeah, I was oh, like, Blade wait, we're, we're going to see it again. <laughs> yes, we're going to review it again. Talk we're going to review it twice. Movie. Yeah. We're going to review it regular HD and then buy it 4K and review it in 4K to see if we <laughs> liked it more than that. But yeah, Blade 3, that's also uh, one with uh, the uh, I'm a wrestling fan, so Triple H. Triple H is in that film. Okay. I'm excited for that one because I think I've seen Blade 1 and Blade 2, and I've only, in my collective memory, only remember bits and pieces of Blade 3. Uh, and mainly because, you know, Ryan Reynolds is introduced, Jessica Bill is introduced. Um, but for some reason, that's the one that I'm not saying it's a bad film. It's just the one that my mind never collected enough data from. So I'm excited to watch it as if it's my first time all over again. My collective memory, I remember that being the best one, but. I'm also a wrestling fan, so it could have been because of Triple H. I don't know. Well, I, um, gosh, I can't wait to review Blade because watching it, so I don't want to say anything, but Wesley Snipes is, is a gym as He's far as gym? that goes. A gym, like a G-E-M gym. Oh, and right, then, right, you know, right. yeah. And this is the only actor that I can rock with because he got arrested for tax evasion. <laughs> I don't want to pay taxes either, though. So it's like, I can't be mad at him. I can't be mad at him. I can't be mad at him. But yeah, those will be our uh, 10 episodes for the season. It'll consist of uh, Marvel season two. We'll probably get more into the DC. Uh, this podcast. Okay, with the name, the Fanboy Podcast. Mm. It's not going to be just about MCU or, or uh, Marvel or DC. We could throw anything in there. We probably will. Uh, you're a big yeah. Star Wars fan. Yes. I, I, Maybe. I, 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 whatever. I think one thing that would be really cool is, is the more people listen, even what they, you know what I mean? They could be like, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the movie Kick-Ass. So am I. That's not Marvel nor DC. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, even Star Wars. I, I love the Star I'm just a geek, man. That is all I am. You were to... If I were to be burnt into a crisp like a vampire that just saw the sun, it'd just be comic strips that my body would disintegrate into. Um, I truly, truly believe that. I'm, I'm made out of uh, uh, just a one huge, huge comic book. That's let's, it. Let's snap this and put this on the Instagram later on once we're uploaded. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be. We'll do other stuff. We'll venture out of Marvel, we'll venture out of DC. We'll get the Star Wars fan base to hate us. Yes, because uh, any, anything, anything. Uh, so just some background on ourselves. Um, I'm not. I was ever big into uh, comics as a kid. I liked Captain America. I collected Captain America when I was younger. Uh, that was pretty much it when I was younger. That's the only uh, comic book I collected were Captain Americas, and uh, I like Captain America. I like uh, Superman. My two favorite. Superman's more because of Lex Luthor. If you can look at, if you if you see the Smallville, the lo, uh, well, yeah, Smallville. But if you see our logo, uh, it's Lex Luthor's. Suit. Yes, Franco is dressed in one of Lex Luthor's most bad A suits. I love that suit. I also love the way the 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 detail and adding the repulsor in the hand. That was I didn't even when when I contacted the guy, I didn't even ask him for that. He was just like he told me I already have an idea, and I was like, run with it. And so when I saw that, I was like, that is the perfect nod. Like, I didn't even expect it. I, I'm just excited with it, man. Yeah, it looks, it looks really dope. Uh, y'all can see on yes. Instagram a clearer picture where y'all can zoom in and all that and see us. But, um, yeah, I'm, I was never big into um, Marvel, DC uh, movies and all that. I don't think I really watched many movies whenever I was younger. I watched, like, more of the $5 bins from Walmart. 
the cheap ones, the horror ones. But the reason I start, I want to start this podcast with Manny is because in 2020, I went back and watched with my wife all of the Mar- MCU movies in order from beginning to end because I had missed out on a whole bunch of them. I think I watched mainly in theaters where the Captain America's um, – all the Avengers, and I think that's it. Maybe Guardians 2 in theaters. Mm. And so I went back and watched all of them in order, and, you know, I, I liked them. I wanted to, like, get someone who loves, who's obsessed, who creams his pants every time he hears about a new movie. I just I, I have to take an extra pair every time, I, <laughs> every, time I, every time I go to the theaters. I have to take an extra pair of pants with me. I want to get someone like that and myself. So we have two differing of my cat, two differing opinions on it. And so I'm not the only one that gets hated for uh, not liking something. You can, y'all can, I, um, I will, I will gladly take the hate with you. Um, even if it is, I, I just feel like there's no right or wrong when it comes to having an opinion of Marvel, because a, a bunch of people will agree with you. A bunch of people will disagree. Same thing with DC. Uh, even heading into its Star Wars territory, it's always going to be like that. Um, but I will gladly face the masses with you, um, and uh, I will have your back, even if we get roasted alive on um, TikTok, Twitter. Um, I'm trying to think of what younger people use more of, and it's TikTok and Twitter. If I say Facebook, they're like, no, we're not on there. Old people are, and it's like, okay, thank you. Um so definitely TikTok and Twitter will rip us apart, but most of them weren't even born when Blade released, so I don't have time to listen to you. <laughs> you th- oh, yeah, I was, um, let's see, it was 98 or 90- 98? I was four. I think I was four, yeah. I, I really want to get into yeah, Blade to review that episode because um, Blade was like probably one of the first movies I, uh, well, obviously the first Marvel movie I saw, and I didn't even know, and uh, I just want to get into it so I can like talk about some stuff, but this ain't yeah. about Blade yet. But uh, I, if you want to give background of uh, who Mr. Fresh is and why he loves Marvel and DC and superhero movies in general. Yes. Okay, I will gladly. Um, I am a chicken nugget, born and raised in the great state of Texas, uh, just continually getting golden all the time. Just get more golden and golden as life goes on. Uh, and as a young spud, as a young little nuggy, um, my father just was like, I have sons now. And you look at my dad, you don't, it didn't look like he'd watch Marvel films. But this man was like, you just, he just what he wanted to do as a kid, he was like, I'm going to use my kids to do. So my brother's room and my room was full of, um, and this is not even a joke, um, I even ran to a friend at GameStop the other day. I was like, man, I remember going into your room and you had Spider-Man comforters, Spider-Man uh, um, curtains. And, and I was like, yes, I'm so glad people think it's a joke. But no, my our, uh, my brother's bed was the Incredible Hulk, the Ang Lee Hulk, uh, uh, played by Eric Bana. And then mine was the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. We had those bed sheets. Our entire room was full of uh, memorabilia from these films, in fact. Uh, I was moving some storage around not too long ago, and I have cereal boxes unopened from Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, and uh, Hulk, the the Ang Lee Hulk, unopened cereal boxes in mint condition from the collection. So we had a bunch of Spider-Man merch, uh, my brother and I, and uh, it's just one of those things where it's like, we don't touch this for now until we find value. I had newspaper clippings, all this cool stuff, so... Um, I live and breathe this stuff as if it were, uh, you know, the very breath in my lungs. So when I, you know, uh, I'm excited to do this podcast because I can finally talk about it. I feel like I take to Facebook a lot to give a review and people are always like, man, why don't you do a podcast? And I'm, and, and I think in today's age, everybody's doing podcasts and I already like to talk. So now I get to talk y'all's ears off about how I feel about all these films um, and I'm also excited to see like the re- the review of like Franco seeing these some of these films for the first time because I get to go back and watch these as an adult compared to a lot of the times when I saw them as a kid, you know. So I'm mostly excited to see because I feel like 
there are films that I've gone back to that I really enjoy now that I didn't understand that well as a kid. So I'm excited to be like, um, to watch these films again, but just from this adult perspective where I'm like, okay, I get that. Or, hey, that was really cool. Or like, oh, I like what they did here. I like what they did there. Because as a kid, I felt like I was just sitting there stuffing popcorn in my face and enjoying all that the screen had to offer, you know. And now I'm an adult shoving popcorn in my face, uh, just excited for every new thing that's coming out or is. So I, I just, I'm hyped to do this podcast. Um, the fanboy podcast is, that's what we is. We some fanboys. So it's already in the title. You already know we're going to talk about it, all of it. And if you, if you agree with us, that's great. If you don't, that's great. But that's just the love of this. We really hope that uh, y'all just enjoy the podcast. And it's something to get you through these really hot summer days if you live in Texas. Um, because, oof, the boy's melting like uh, a popsicle outside every day. Hot. Hot yeah. shit out there. Yes, it is. It is. <clears throat> Um, let's see what else. Uh, our review rating. We always like to do them differently for all of our podcasts. Uh, when we were on Friday the 14th, we did Machetes, Danny Trejos. And that's what they still use, Danny Trejos, one out of five. Um, we got to change it up, though. It's a fanboy podcast, so we got to change it up. We got to mm-hmm. use our own little grid, our own little system. Mm-hmm. Wrestling Tacos, mm-hmm. we use tacos. So mm-hmm. uh, the fanboy podcast, we're changing it up, and we're going to do Infinity Stones, Ooh, beautiful. one through six. Yes. Not one through five, not one through ten. One through six. Ooh. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. a that's mm-hmm. a good thing because if like a, you give it a three, that's halfway through. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's a pretty that's pretty up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And we can still do like a half as well. It's like three and a half, four and a half, five. And yeah, half, yeah, half, half, yeah, yeah. Uh, the highest Definitely. we can do is six, so obviously not six and a half, and the lowest we can go is one. If yeah. You uh, really want to give it a zero? I mean, like, if you don't want to waste any Infinity Stones on it, you're just yeah. like, no, not worth the time. So I guess zero through six, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, damn. I hope. I I really hope none of them hit zero. I don't know, man. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen some of these for the first time, so like, not watch them as a kid. I think is gonna uh, throw me off. Like, I don't know, man. Daredevil. I don't know. I heard bad things about it, and I, I, I told you the CGI on that thing was horrendous. I, yeah. I've never been a big uh, Daredevil fan, so I'm like, I don't know, but I'll go in with a clear head, clear mind, make sure my phone is off, so I can experience it and watch it yes. on my TV. And yes. I'm, I'm, I think I'm mo- mainly excited because um, my father, like when we were living, I was living with my dad. I, I forgot that a lot of the collection that I built was DVDs that he bought. So now that now that I no longer live with my dad, I'm uh, the collection that I didn't have like um, all these films I get to go out and buy again. Uh, uh, ones that I no longer have because again my dad took that collection. Uh, so I think um, like I would say starting with I think maybe Avengers is the first film that I actually bought on Blu-ray for myself. So from Avengers forward, I'm um, like good minus a movie here or there. But pre MCU was all DVDs and stuff. So I think the the most fun I'm excited about is being able to go buy these movies again, but in the best up to date version they have them in. So for example, Blade Blade One, we know we're reviewing that. I went and bought that baby in 4K because I'm like. I want the best version of Blade to appear on my TV screen so I can enjoy it from start to finish. So uh, I'm just excited. Um, and then there's there's so many cool still books and stuff that come with these movies. So my wallet's crying, but movies now are less expensive than Marvel Legends that are sitting at $25.99. So uh, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit less stressful when I swipe my card. For a, for a movie. So I'm super excited to get this collection up and going again. And I'm also excited just to see <clears throat> how we come to review these and what we say about it and how we feel about these films. Yeah. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, do you want to explain how you came up with the name? Because you're the one that came up with the Fanboy Podcast. Yeah. Um, the name basically, because Franco, you know, we, we talked about making a podcast. He hits me up and he's like, I'm putting a team together. 
the Avengers Initiative, and I can really use. And, I, and he came to me in an eye patch, and he shaved his head, um, even gave himself the goatee, the nice leather jacket. And I was like, you're Nick Fury. And he's like, that's right, motherfucker. And I was like, you're also Samuel L. Jackson. You added the motherfucker. That's that nice touch. And he was like, I'm putting a podcast together, um, and, uh, and, and we just need a name. So I was like, oh, my gosh. It's so easy. Like, if, if, if I could, I would just call it podcast. Like, hey, guys, listen to our podcast. What's, what's it called? It's called podcast. <laughs> what is it about? Just click on the first episode, you know? But I was like, what is a name that embodies this? And I didn't want to make it the MCU podcast or a play on words, you know? Like, I didn't want it to be like, um, I don't know, like the subtitles to, to films, you know? It, was, it wasn't like uh, Franco Emanuel Civil War, you know? Franco Emanuel the First Avenger, you know? Like, it didn't want that. So instead... I said, well, we're fans, you know, and what is one thing that a majority of fans are called, that really love this stuff are called fanboys. So, and that is just a, a broad audience. It's just a title given to people that love, love this stuff. So I thought the fanboy podcast would be super cool. No relation to fanboy and chum chum. If you ever watch that show, no relation. This is the fanboy podcast. Do you remember fanboy and chum chum? It was a Nickelodeon series. CG. It, yeah, Pudge a little kid in a superhero costume. Okay, that's why I watched it. I'm like, I relate. Um, when when was it? There, man, it, this aired like 2010, 11, maybe 2012. I don't know. You said Chumley. It was no, it was fanboy and Chum Chum. Chum Chum. You're thinking of? Are you thinking about Chumley Chum from Pawn Stars? Stars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know Chumley would probably be cool to be on this podcast because he's a fan of. Of uh, all things fanboy related. Somebody as we're well. calling you out if you're watching this. Come on. Yeah, yeah. If, if you come across this man and you're just like, you know what, I don't feel like working today, and selling stuff. I want to jump on the podcast with the boys. Then uh, Skype us or Zoom us or whatever you feel like, and just review a film with us. We can review Eternals. <laughs> we'll have a live watching. Sit through all two at uh, two hours and uh, forty five minutes of. Uh, okay, I can't wait to get to that movie. Of it. Uh, but we're also going to be doing, might drop bonus episodes here and there, uh, not consistent basis, not like, you know, oh, every week a bonus episode, but, uh, usually like, re- um, waiting a week before you drop your review for new movies. Instead of doing that, we can always just like, you know, when Thor comes out in a couple weeks, a month. Yeah, it comes out. Well, uh, yes, less than a month now. Tickets dropped the other day and I, and I rushed to grab them. Because now um, you have to rush to grab every ticket that hits. Now you get my tickets. Um, yeah, if that one comes out. We might end up dropping a review on it. Uh, I usually see them. Now I've been seeing them like the opening day. Not night, but the opening day. Uh, nice. Multiverse of Madness, I saw the opening day, last minute. N- and, uh, nice. Spider-Man. Yeah, they had tickets at the at the crappy theater. But I was like, fuck it. I'll go show them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, there's a theater here where uh, in um, it's called Movies Inc. Oh yeah, that, Cloud? yeah. It's, I, I don't go there. I went there once. Uh, I spent money to see a film called The Tax Collector. It's not worth y'all's time or energy. Uh, as much as I love Shia LaBeouf, um, but yeah, I went there once and I was just kind of like, I don't know. Eh. you know, I was like, hey, more power to them. They're providing a theater experience, but I'm gonna go to where the seats recline. Yeah, and, they uh, have like I have a movie four, membership. They have like four theaters there, I think, or like four uh, yeah movie screens. But yeah, we went there. Me and Nick went there, like back in 2015 to watch uh, Unfriended. And oh right. my god! Yeah, to be honest, when that movie first came out, though, I was like, "This is pretty good." I, I just like the whole idea of like the whole Skype thing. Yeah. Like, I thought that was really that was a fresh take on horror. And I, and I saw somebody like a, a friend that I really admire his reviews. He was talking about how bad it was, and I was just—I remember being like, "Cause this guy studied film in college." I was—I like, got to be careful, like. So I remember just being like, "Why did you, why did you hate that film?" And he was like, "Well, this is this," and I was like, "But, but it was kind of cool, man. You gotta admit it, it was kind of cool. Like the the screen, the Spotify playing, the like that was that was." He's like, "You see, I'll give it points there. I can see what you're saying there." And I was like, "You see, it was, it was a new fresh take on horror. You know what I'm saying, like." The, the the chubby dude died first, I believe, and you know. I relate. Mm. I I didn't like it. Uh, we watched it. We were really hyped for it, and I didn't like it. And then, uh, part two came out like two thousand 
18, 19. And uh, part two was really good. They made a sequel? Yeah. Oh, yes, they Dark did. Dark That's Dark. when, like, they say, yeah, 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 yeah. They take it, like, a uh, kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Man, that was crazy. I forgot when I saw the sequel, but it was it was as of recent. Um, but that was called Unfriended Dark Web, right? The yeah. Dark Web? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do bonus episodes, and we may drop one on that or might wait for another uh, movie. It just depends if we have time within that week. Yeah. Uh, segments. You want to talk about segments? We're going to uh, yeah. have different segments on here because we do segments on podcasts and – we have segments and whatnot. The segments are key to making sure that – because I think segments are like uh, the teacher in class is like, hey, pay attention. Because with podcasts, it's so easy to ramble on and on and on and on and on and on that you're like, oh, shoot. I forgot. You know, we're three hours in. You know, um, so uh, definitely want to break this into segments about like stuff that we liked about the movie, like maybe our favorite scenes. Uh, we want to talk about our least favorite scenes. Um or maybe there's movies that don't even have a least favorite scene. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, we want to talk about... Uh, oh, shoot. Okay, like our favorite scene, our least favorite scene. Where are, We're going to give our ratings. We want to do... Oh, yeah, we want to do a segment where we, we fan cast. Where we talk about who we think um, should have played this character in this movie. Or, like, who we would have thought. And I, I just... I, and I remember that that's such a good idea because... When I was younger, that they had announced that a Sony would be rebooting Spider-Man, I remember I, I was so pissed off at the time before I saw it and fell in love. Uh, I was so pissed off at the time that I remember just like talking to friends at lunch tables, like I really think so and so would make a good Peter Parker, or I can see so and so playing Peter Parker. And then I got to do it all over again when before Tom Holland was announced. I was like, you know, I think you know Dylan O'Brien, or I think you know so and so. I love I love Dylan O'Brien, dude. I, I I just do. I think he's so cool. Um, <laughs> so so it was it was it was. This it was now just, Dylan O'Brien podcast. Yes, Dylan, hit me up, please. You're so cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I still want to see Dylan O'Brien in some type of. I can see him playing Nightwing in the DC universe. And that would be crazy cool. Uh, but there you go. That like like something like that, like a fan cast. Me just thinking or or for the films. Like, oh, you know, so and so would have played a better Pepper Potts than Gwyneth uh Paltrow. Not saying that anybody does, but I'm just saying like, you know, as we go along, we'll have that as well. Um definitely get to review them and talk about the infinity stones we're gonna give them. So that's this this sounds a lot of fun. Am I missing some segments? I feel like I'm missing Um them. we'll do a tagline segment because uh, I love taglines. Um, yes. Some movies have taglines, some don't. I think mm-hmm. the, you said the new ones don't. Yeah, but, a lot of the new uh, ones. The older ones do. And if they don't have a tagline, we'll create a tagline for them. We already watched the movie. I mean, might as well do create a tagline. Yes. We're all about thinking here at this podcast. All about putting our minds to work, not just enjoying the film, but thinking of uh, ways that, uh, you know. Uh, um, I don't I don't know, like, would you, would a segment about, like, maybe, what, I don't know about, like, how I would have ended it or what I would have done better. Uh, that could be a possibility, that segment, to do, like, what you would have done to fix this or, 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 you know, if it's one of those movies where you're like, oh, you know what, I don't think that would have changed anything. I think it, it was good from start to finish. I don't have any problems with uh, Eternals, I would have just not released it. Yeah, with Eternals, I would have been like, oh, yay, Chloe, Chloe Zhao directed this. What movie did she direct before? A movie called Nomadland that looked boring as hell? Yeah, let's let's give her two hours and 45 minutes of a film and just do nothing with these characters for two hours and 45 minutes. Which sucks because some of the people in that film I really enjoy as actors and actresses. And that's just... Lord, we'll, we'll probably skip Lord. over that episode when it comes down to it. Yeah, which is. <laughs> we'll do like a five minute like, podcast. Yeah, there's actually is no Eternals, guys. That's it was a lie. It turns out that uh, this was actually produced by an off brand company. Uh, it wasn't even Marvel, so we're it's, good. It's Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. It, so we actually they, it, it was it was Mar it was the the DC Marvel that because uh, Shazam's original name was Captain Marvel. Yeah, that that's the the company that produced Eternals. 
Um, now I'm shitting on DC. I'm not trying to shit on DC. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, we're just gonna say it was off brand. Off brand that did that. Um, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about for the podcast? I just really wanted to uh, kind of like uh, like talk about this podcast or the podcast in general. Uh, the podcast in general. We're gonna what they can expect from the episode. Well, I would say um, I I want to be very open with these 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 discussions. I want to not hold back on how I feel. I've been a fan of this for years, so this is not new to me. Uh, I know that I was hearing stories that some people that saw Multiverse of Madness were having trouble, like, oh, who's that, or who's that, or, you know, like, I don't understand, where is that person from? And it's just weird to think that, like, that's a thing, because to me, it's like, no, that makes sense, you know, like, uh, with No Way Home and how it opened the multiverse, what that really means for the, the future of the MCU, and how it can be used, you know, like, we have No Way Home, which brought back Garfield and Maguire to take on the roles of Spider-Man, we got... Alfred Molina back, uh, Willem Dafoe, Reese, uh, Reese Iphens, uh, Jamie Foxx. It was just really cool to see, like, these characters reprise roles, you know, in this film. So, uh, yeah, Thomas Hayden Church, Sandman. Um, so I just feel like, like, with this podcast, I just want to be very, like, uh, have an opinion and stick with my opinion because... It's dangerous water sometimes when you want to have an opinion about stuff. You make somebody mad. Uh, and I just feel like we kind of live in a territory where you can't bash Marvel because it's like, no, everything they put out is great. And in reality, it's like, mm, uh, I personally don't think we need an Agatha series on Disney+. Plus, But, you know, don't don't think we need that. But there's going to be one. So, I mean, like, it's just that's just my thing, man. I, uh so I definitely want to just be able to like talk freely and 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 really engage with people that listen. We I'm really hoping for this podcast to be something that people can tune into, you know, um, and just get you know, just this break away from life. Or maybe you sit there and be like, wow, you know, like I've been wanting to talk about Thor, but nobody at my job seen Thor, and you put in the earphones, and you're like, oh, cool, is and they have it sound like a conversation, you know, to where it's like. Wow, that review was great, but at the same time, I feel like I can rock with Manny. I can rock with uh, Emosua. Like I can, I can, I want to be friends with these guys, you know. And so, I'm just, I'm looking forward to that. I just, you know, uh, I just want this to be a fun podcast in general. I just want people to. Uh, it's like with movies. Movies are a breakaway for me from life. You know, I can be stressing all week, but if I'm sitting in a theater, it's as if once that film starts, nothing exists for the amount of time that I'm in that theater. And then when I get out, the sun hits me on my way out. I'm like, ah, that's life. You know, I, I go to fill up my gas tank. I'm like, yeah, that's life. That's life. That's definitely, okay, that's almost $5. That's <clears throat> that's life. So, that's um, fill up the other day. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's, oh my gosh. It makes me, um, uh, it makes me want to learn how to longboard so I could just longboard it. But then we live in Texas. So it's like you, you want to be in a car because if you're not, you're gonna get stuck on the sidewalk. <clears throat> so I just, I, I just really want this uh, podcast to be something fun that people enjoy, and I'm just excited to talk about these films because, man, podcasts are so cool. You can talk and people listen. I can finally speak, and people will listen, and then I'm probably the most hated one on the podcast. Like, yo, we're going to get a recast for season two. This guy sucks. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, if you are uh, listening to the podcast, we are also visual. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel, right. Emo Sawa Productions. That's E-M-O-S-E-W-A. Or Beautiful. awesome, spelled backwards. Uh, subscribe. You can watch it, the podcast there, so you can see our lovely faces. And if you're yeah. watching us and you hate our, our ugly faces, then you can go listen to our beautiful voices only. Yeah. On Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, other major wherever po- podcasts. wherever podcasts are available. And the cool thing is, I'm gonna do vocal warmers before every podcast, so my voice sounds silky smooth from start to finish. I'll try to control my breathing, so you won't hear <sighs> after every little thing that I say. It's like, man, is this guy running while he's doing the podcast? No, he's just sitting down. It's embarrassing, but um. But we yeah, running, if you want to start running, yeah, we, 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 I, I, 
I'm gonna faint after though. a while. Just, yeah. <laughs> just feel like, yeah, my favorite part was. <laughs> <laughs> like five but, minutes later. But yeah, the, the, the where... uh, podcast audio, you can just uh, look it up anywhere. It's the same name, Emosawa Productions, the M O S C W A. Awesome, small backwards productions. Uh, that was a mouthful. Um, before we end this episode, to give more of a background of what we're excited for and what we're want to review, I told you before the podcast, we're going to list our top three MCU films or Marvel films. I'm throwing you a curveball. Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, top three superhero films. Any. DC. Any. Marvel. Okay, so this is Marvel or DC. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Marvel, DC, kick ass, whatever uh, you want to do. Y'all are going to kill me. These are just top three at the top. My top three can change. I think top three questions are the hardest thing to answer because it's basically telling yourself I have to kill other films in order to give this top three. Uh, if, you um, want, if you want time to think about it, I can list my top three first. Right, list your top three. List your top three because I'm going to get crucified. Um, let's see. I didn't have it in my head. I lied. Um, number three, it might be because how uh, recent it was and it's fresh in my head. Spider-Man No Way Home. That's a beautiful choice. Uh, just because of the nostalgia, uh, Tom McGuire, Andrew Garfield. It's everything we wanted mm. it to be. Mm. It's everything we hyped it up to be. And it Chef came this. out. Th- those hardly any flaws in that movie that I can think of at the top of my head. Hardly mm. any. Mm. Uh, number two, I saw it recently for the first time. I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. It's probably because I'm a big uh, Superman fan, Lex Luthor fan. I love Smallville. I love Michael Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor, and I wanted him to be casted to play Lex Luthor, even though he's not even in this movie. But uh, just in general, uh, Superman, Men of Steel, or Men of Steel, number two. That's that's a really good film. Henry Cavill was by far one of the best Superman. I, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Henry Cavill, they screwed him over. WB screwed him over. And I want to see that man make another they, Superman film. Yeah, he, he should have had a part two. He should have. Uh, he he should have had a part two way before Batman versus Superman. But, I mean, that's something yep. for another day. Yeah. And number one, it's been my number one since I saw it. And I think it's going to stay my number one. Infinity War didn't top it. Endgame didn't top it. No Way Home didn't top it. The Winter Soldier. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Oh, uh, you monster! It, it, because I'm a big <laughs> Captain America fan as well, but that movie has no flaws to me. Uh, I've watched None. it multiple times. I can watch that movie any day of the week, three times on Sundays. Uh, yeah, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Bucky. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Sebastian. James Buchanan Barnes, played by Sebastian Stan. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Mm. That is one one hell of a man right there. Very good looking dude. Um, I think your top three are a thing of beauty, Franco, and uh, and sitting here thinking of uh, top three for now. Uh, I definitely say number three goes with No Way Home. Uh, No Way Home. If people are gonna call out the flaws in the writing. I had somebody come at me on Facebook Live while I was talking about Multiverse of Madness, and then try to hit my messenger about what was wrong with it. Um, you can say that left and right, and, and you can say, oh, it's just nostalgia, but No Way Home, not only did it reintroduce Maguire and Garfield, it gave backstory to what they had been going through while we haven't seen these characters. It gave nods to the original films. For example, when Garfield tells Jamie Foxx's Electro that, hey, you are never a nobody to me, Max. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 shows how he had that friendship with Max, you know, and when uh when 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 dr otto octavius sees peter again and asks how he's doing he's like could be better you know like that was a nod to spider-man 2 there's so much and then even the way they incorporated every single theme song of these films um you had um i'm already forgetting okay james horner did the amazing spider-man soundtrack uh then hans uh hans zimmer danny elfman did the the toby mcguire soundtrack beautiful and then Hans Zimmer did the Amazing Spider-Man 2 those films have always had really good scores 
Um, and to see those incorporated into that film was a thing of beauty. I put it past nostalgia. I think No Way Home was just a very fun film. It also finally gave us Tom Holland as Spider-Man, his own Spider-Man, not Iron Man Jr. I know people will argue with me on that, but this is the first film that we see him make his own suit. You know, at the very end of it, the first time he's going to have to do things on his own with the help of nobody. So I just thought it was so beautifully well done. Uh, scenes like when they're talking about Uncle Ben and he's talking about Aunt May and they're talking like it's just it's a good film. It's a good film from start to finish. I own it on 4K and Steelbook. I needed to when it came out. I got it. That's my number three. My number two, I have to give to Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now, this is Zack Snyder's Justice League that was released on HBO Max. I think it is a thing of beauty. Everything that people hated about the Josh Whedon cut, Zack Snyder gave us a full story from start to finish. Yes, the movie is a good four hours long, but it is worth every hour to me. That's just me personally. Um, to see all these characters actually have depth in them was something really fun to see. The scene where... Ezra Miller goes into the uh, Speed Force as the Flash. You know, you got to do it now, Barry, and you got to do it fast. That scene made me cry. It was just so. It's just so. It was just so fun to see this. To see Zack Snyder's cut after. And that's where there's fanboys because it was the fans that pushed for this thing to be released, and it happened. So there was power in the fans. There's power in the fans, and uh, I definitely give it. That's my number two because I really enjoyed it, and I wanted to add. A, Part of me wanted to add a DC film in this because I really enjoy DC films. And uh, number one, I'm not going to argue with Franco. The Winter Soldier to this day is by far one of the greatest MCU films I've ever laid my eyes on from start to finish. It is such a beautifully well done film. We get the scene where Captain America will not fight Bucky at the end. And he basically says, I'm not going to fight you. And Bucky's laying into him. That it made me cry in theaters. That film as a standalone film. You don't even have to be an MCU fan. If you just put that film on from start to finish, I think you'll be intrigued. I love the way that we get the introduction of Falcon in that movie as well. It's just really cool from start to finish. The chemistry between the actors and the actresses in the film is amazing. The storyline from start to finish, I do not see a flaw from start to finish at all. We get to see Captain America don the suit from the first Avenger. We also get to see him don that newer suit that he used under S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, the scene where he's like, before we get started, would anyone like to get off when he's inside the elevator uh, that he beats up all of HYDRA? Um, I just thought that was really cool. If you didn't notice, one of the guys that's in the elevator that works with HYDRA is also one of the bad guys in Batman vs. Superman. Um double played he double played there's a bunch of people we'll get into that as we watch these films but um winter soldier i just i cannot give that film enough praise i love that film so damn much it, it makes i just gosh i i want to hug the directors and the writers of that film and just let them know that they wow they, that's just and, and if you've watched in game the only reason you know whenever falcon comes in and he says on your left is because of Winter Soldier. Whenever Captain America is saying that to him while he's jogging in circles, on your left, on your left. So I just, it's a beautiful film. I, I, I praise that film so much. I still consider it. I've seen people put it, I've seen people not even add it on their list, and I'm just like, what world do you live in? What world do you live in where the Winter Soldier doesn't, the Winter Soldier is gold, and I will die on that hill. So y'all could hate me or, just don't come to my Instagram page and say mean things because then I'll have to delete your comments. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's those, are, those are... I have those not are, seen Justice listeners. League yet, uh, mm. either or. Uh, I have been hearing good things about uh, Snyder's Cut, though. But Yeah, just uh, pretend that Josh Whedon's doesn't exist. It's not worth the time. It's not. It's uh, not. I'm assuming when we come to the episode, it'll probably be a comparison. Yeah, I actually own both the Josh Whedon version and the Zack Snyder version. Uh, because I, I, I don't know, man, I did my best to hype that film up for some reason. I just, I saw that DC was taking blow after blow after blow after hit after hit after hit. And I just, I just wanted to, <laughs> I wanted people to enjoy that when it first came out, the first one. Um, and then I just lied about it on Facebook. I just was so overcome with hype that when I went to go see it, as soon as it came out on, on DVD, the Joss Whedon cut, I was upset with myself 
forever posting that, but we can't go back and delete every old Facebook post. Our memories are there to remind us of them every time they pop up. You can delete them so, from memories, um, though. Yeah, I could probably do that. And then a part of me is like, no, I need to remind myself how stupid I was and get mad at myself so I never make the same mistake again. So, yeah, that's that's where I, that's where I put my top three. It's a very good list. Um, we had the same list except for one. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Uh, Matt is still, though, it's still it's a perfect film. That, that definitely deserves to be in the list. Yeah, I was like, how long? Why did it take me so many fucking years to watch this movie? It's it's a beauty, dude. I have that on Steelbook. Get it? I really have. <laughs> I have the Matt I, is still on Steelbook. I have it. I bought it whenever it first came out. I just never watched it. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a it's thing of beauty. I think that's pretty much it for the podcast for the episode. Uh, catch us here again uh, July 10th for mm. episode one, reviewing Blade. I feel like we yes. should change it now to um, Winter Soldier, but we'll be Blade. <laughs> we change it to, yeah. Um, yes, Blade. So for fans of Wesley Snipes, we going we gonna to see that man. We're going to see him and um, and review him. And uh, I, have, I have a lot to say about that movie now that I got to see it again as a as an adult. And uh, there's a lot of things I actually did enjoy about it. And so I'm excited I was watching, to talk about it. <clears throat> watching it the other day, and um, I had my little one, and uh, she kept distracting me, so I wasn't able to like fully uh, indulge in it. Yeah. But I will soon for the episode, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, I need to figure out where these movies are located at because if I don't have them and if they're not on Netflix or any other streaming platform, I need to go buy them. Yeah. So we'll see. That's my, that's my, that's the fun. Yeah. But I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching. We don't have an Instagram. We do you want to make an Instagram for this uh, a podcast or no? Um, I think uh, I guess is is probably let it grow for a bit and then we'll do the Instagram. Yeah, I'm like, um, I already have so many Instagrams. That yeah, I know that, man. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's just another thing to add. Yeah. Then I'm, I'm one of those people that gets OCD with notifications. If I see them, I got to clear them because it just bothers me. Oh, and I so put I, the Emo Small Productions Instagram, I put that. Uh, I don't get notifications for that at all. But if I see them okay. on my, whenever I'm looking at my other one, I'll see like, oh, six messages or whatever. I'm like, oh, let me go yeah. check it out. It's like my emails. Like I'll be deleting one in one inbox and then swipe to the side and I see all the others are full. So I'm like, gotta go delete the emails on those for no reason, but the OCD and the fact that I get anxiety if it's not clear. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess as it goes, um, something like that, I can even, um, yeah, that way it's not like completely stressful right now, adding another one. Yeah. To the list. But, uh, for now you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I can put my personal out there, my personal, you can find it wherever, but, I do uh, wrestling content. I, uh, mm-hmm. I'm a videographer for wrestlers or for wrestling shows. Uh, wrestling Tacos, W-R-A-S-S-L-I-N, T-A-L-K-O-S, Wrestling Tacos on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the our YouTube channel, Emo Cell Wall Productions. It's awesome that we hit 500 um, last month in May. I did not yes. expect to hit it until... Um, until June, actually, we say out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and I haven't really gone on like a platform to say it, but I'm really grateful for it. For 500, it took us so long to get there, all the hard work, and mind blowing that we got it because that was my goal for this year. And we're in June, and we hit it. That means mm. like another six months, we could hit another 500. Maybe, yeah, but I think for June, I've been laying low. I'm not yeah. editing stuff right now. I'm just coasting so nice, hopefully in nice. july i'll start editing get that picking it up mental again, health man and, uh important to take your breaks if not 500 if not a thousand hopefully 750 by the end of the year maybe so we'll see. Go, go go if you're listening to this podcast go subscribe to the youtube channel uh they also have really good merch for wrestling tacos so i just little birdie on the street they got some really dope shirts I'm not wearing yeah. it today, but uh, this is uh, the guy who did he did this shirt. Waste oh, okay, flavors. that's that's so dope. Yeah, yeah, uh, I love I love his uh, merch. That's where I got him. Yes, but uh, yeah, follow Instagram, uh, subscribe to YouTube, my other Instagram. If you want to follow it, it's Emo Swall Productions, the same 
spelling and everything in Musawa Productions Beautiful. is awesome, so backwards. And uh, that's pretty much it for my plugs if you want to plug anything. Um, y'all can follow me on uh, my second account, which is Fresh TV. Uh, but I think it's Fresh TV 217 on Instagram. Uh, I post toys. I love toys, action figures, movies, uh, whatever I'm really into at the time. Um, like this big boy right here. It's about him the other day. Oh, this is nice. a beautiful beast of a figure. Um, stuff like that all over my Instagram. Um, if you would love to go follow me uh, on there, it would be amazing. Uh, I also even have a TikTok under the same name, Fresh TV. And that's Fresh with the P-H-R-E-S-H TV, uh, where I go on uh, little toy hunts. I'm trying to do the toy hunts more. I'm just trying to break out of the anxiety of pulling up my phone to record, uh, especially when a parent sees me. It's like, <laughs> what is this grown man doing in the toy section? It's like, shut up, Karen. I'm sorry. I'm d- Figures don't look. That don't look like Christian Bell for a kid. It's made for, <laughs> for the adults that collect these. Okay, so I deserve to be in that aisle. Um, but yes, I'd love it if y'all follow me on there. Again, follow all that Wrestling Kingdom, Wrestling Tacos, Emosua Productions, all they do because every single subscriber actually matters. I've seen Franco build this from the ground up, and there aren't bots that are following him. He didn't buy the likes. He didn't buy the page. Uh, I've seen this man put in the work, and these are just the fruits of his labor. So it'd mean the world if you go subscribe to that. Uh, same time, we just hope that you enjoy this podcast. You enjoy listening to our silky smooth voices as we talk about all things fanboy related. And we go on these tangents and we just dive into this world for however long the podcast runs where you could sit down with us and dive into it with us as well. And um, since we have an Instagram, if you want to suggest a movie for us to review as a bonus mm-hmm. episode or mm-hmm. uh, whatever, yeah, uh, message us on our DMs, uh, Emo Small Productions for me, to mention them on uh, Fresh TV 217. Yes, uh, please. Or comment on our post saying, hey, I listen to the yeah. Fanboy podcast. Can you review, like you said earlier, kick ass, whatever? And yeah. we might do it for a bonus episode. Or um, we also didn't talk about it. We might do TV series. Uh, I'm a big fan of Smallville. I don't know if you yeah. uh, watched all of it, but I would love to review that. Uh, yeah, probably so not episode by episode because that's a lot of fucking episodes. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Uh, uh, maybe season by season. Yeah. Maybe something like uh, that, like if we sit through the seasons. Michael Rosenbaum, like I said, is my favorite Lex Luthor, and I do the like fantastic job in the entire series of Smallville, or even uh, the new Star Wars uh, uh, Obi Wan. Oh yeah, uh, that just I came out. Uh, Miss Marvel just dropped. I haven't seen the. Yeah, first I was about episode. to say. How's it gonna say like a new episode of Obi Wan and Miss Marvel drop Wednesdays, and um, if, if even if y'all just you, you hear the podcast and you want to hit us up, and it's maybe something that we haven't reviewed, y'all just want to talk. You know, like, hey, what'd you think of episode six of Obi Wan Kenobi? Like, how are your feelings? I'm, I'll talk, I'll listen. I, you know, I, conversations are conversations. That way, it's, it's the type of engagement because we want you to know that when you come to the Fanboy Podcast, we don't just we want family. We're sponsored by Vin Diesel, so we definitely want, <laughs> we want you to know that you know you're not just somebody that's giving us a listen. You're somebody that we're cool with interacting with. We do have our separate lives. Uh, so if you know if we don't respond, it's not that we hate y'all. It's just that you know, as adults, off time is very uh, limited. Dude, social media can be a bitch sometimes too. Yes, I, I've been in, you know, really I tried can. taking a break this month from social media, and like I'm sponsoring a couple of shows for this month and next month. So like they yeah. tag me and shit. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta share it. So I gotta be on it's, social media. It's crazy, man. Because like even with running my second account, like sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to post. Like, I just feel like it's just a drag to do it, and I'm like, I don't know how influencers do this every day. Like, you really got to find a love for it. And don't, no, I'm not saying that I don't love this. It's just that it's 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 the media itself can be, like, very um, overwhelming at times. So I can just imagine how many things you're being tagged in. Like, uh, I can imagine what your, what your notifications look like. Yeah. 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 Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all guys again July 10th for episode mm. one. Yes. Blade, Blade. 1998. Uh, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good, good night. Wherever whatever. you're at right now. Yeah. Just enjoy it. And uh, I have no 
tagline to close it out. So, uh, peace. <laughs>